What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this update from the Warhammer community. Um, this is a Forge World update. It's Forge World Index Xenos uh, Preview Imperial Armor. So let's go. Last week we had a look at some of the new rules for the Forge World miniatures covered in the Imperial Armor Index. Space Marines and Imperial Armor Index Chaos. Today we look at some units from Imperial Armor Index Xenos. We'll start off with a Tyranid, one of the most popular Forge World additions to the High Fleet Forces in the last edition due to both its durability, synapse and protective gas cloud aura, the Malanthrope. We can see from the range of useful abilities this guy has, he'll likely still be seen in many forces. So I'll just zoom in a little bit there. So the Malanthrope, um, so movement 5 inches, weapon skill. 4 plus, ballistic skill 4 plus, straight 4, toughness 5, wounds 9, nice, uh, attacks 4, leadership 9, and a 5 plus save. Uh, weapon is his grasping tail, it's a melee weapon, straight fuser AP minus 1, damage D3, um, war gear options none, well you wouldn't have would you? <laughs> Ability Shadow in the Warp and Synapse, see page 16, hey? So I'll be looking forward to reading that. Um, shrouding Spores, your opponent must subtract one from hit rolls for ranged weapons that target high fleet models within three inches of any friendly high fleet Malanthropes. This penalty is not cumulative with the same penalty from Venomthropes. Aha! Enhanced Toxic Miasma, <coughs> excuse me, at the end of the, f the fight phase. Roll a d6 for each enemy unit within one inch of any Malanthropes on a 4 plus, that unit suffers a mortal wound. Prey Adaption. If the last model in an enemy unit is slain within one inch of a Malanthrope in the fight phase, all models in your army with the same high fleet keyword as the Malanthrope may re-roll hit rolls of one against all models with any of the same faction keywords as the slain enemy. Cool. That is cool. <laughs> Actually, that's very cool. Uh, Monstrous Brood. The first time this unit is set up on the battlefield, all of its models must be placed within six inches of at least one other model in their unit. From that point onwards, each operates independently and is treated as a separate unit. Faction keywords, Tyranids, and High Fleet. And keywords are Monster, Character, and Malanthrope. Uh, wow, that that sounds good. I'm, I've always wanted the melon front, but you know I've never been able to afford it. But hey, maybe I could do some funky uh, conversion. You never know. Next up, the orc mecha dread. With the increase in vehicle durability and the deadliness of combat, orc dread based armies become a very viable option. And this bruiser is the guy you want at the front of the charge. Mecha Dread. So movement and weapon skill. Uh, sorry, movement. Yeah, weapon skill. And strength, all dependent upon the damage uh, inflicted upon him. Um, so if he's got between 10 and 16 plus uh, wounds, so he's a bit of a beast, you know. His movement is 8 inches, weapon skill 3 plus, strength is 6. They've got between 4 and 9 wounds. His movement is 6, weapon skill is 4 plus, and his strength is 5. They've got between 1 and 3, then his movement is 4, weapon skill 5 plus, strength 4. That's pretty cool. A Mecha Dread is a single model equipped with two Ripper Claws. Weapon, look at this, look, big zapper. 36 inch range that's huge it's a heavy free uh strength 2d6 ap minus four uh damage four before firing this weapon roll to determine the strength of the shot if the result is 12 do not make a wound roll instead if the attacks hit each cause three mortal wounds and then the bearer suffers a mortal wound well <laughs> Hmm. Shunter. 24 inches, still quite a, a good range. Heavy 1. Strength 8, AP minus 2. Uh, damage 2. Vehicles that suffer a wound from this weapon may not advance in the following 
turn. Cool. Rattler cannon, 24 inches, uh, heavy 2d6 type. Uh, straight 5, uh, AP minus 2, D3 damage, no abilities. Rocket bombs, 48 inches. Nice. Heavy D6, strength 5, AP 0, uh, damage 1. This weapon can target units not visible to the bearer. Cool. Oops. On the wrong way here now. Oops. My bad. Bear with me. There you go. There you go. And the Ripper Claw. It's melee and melee. Uh, strength times 2, AP minus 3, D6 damage, and no abilities. Walker options. The Mecha Dread may replace one of its Ripper Claws with one of the following weapons Big Zapper, Shanta, or a Rattler Cannon. The Mecha Dread must take one of the following abilities a Mega Charge, a Mega Charger, or a Custom Force Field. So, abilities. Here we go. Uh, we probably all know what that is. Uh, Ramshackle Monster. Each time a Mecha Dread loses a wound from any weapon, roll d6 on a roll of a 4 plus, the wound is ignored. The first time this roll is failed, the result needed is reduced to 5 plus, and so on until the roll fails on a 6 plus, and this ability may no longer be used. Rip and Tear. If armed with two Ripper Claws, a Mecha Dread increases its attack characteristic by 1. Mecha, ch Mecha Charger. <coughs> Once per battle. This model may move up to an additional 8 inches in its movement phase. However, before this happens, roll a d6 on a 1. The Mecha Dread cannot advance or charge until the beginning of your next player turn and suffers one mortal wound. It may advance as per the normal rules after this ability has been used. Custom Force Field. If this model is armed with a Custom Force Field, friendly orc units that are within 9 inches have 5 plus and vulnerable save against ranged weapons. Begin stomping. This uh, model can fall back in your movement phase and still shoot and or charge during its turn. In addition, it can move and fire heavy weapons without suffering a penalty to its hit rolls. This model only gains a bonus to saving throws for being in cover if at least half of the model is obscured from the bearer. Explodes. Uh, sorry, yeah, if this model is reduced to zero runes, roll a d6 uh, before removing it from the battlefield. On a 6, it explodes, and each unit within 6 inches suffers D3 mortal wounds. Uh, our final preview is of the XB109 Evara Battlesuit, this highly mobile cousin of the Riptide. This is out just as much devastating firepower as he did last edition, so you'll see plenty of these advanced battle suits on the battlefield. Uh. <laughs> Name XV109 Ivara battle suit. So the movement and ballistic skill is going to be changing depending on the wounds. So wounds, depending on whether between 7 and 14 plus, movement is 18. Ballistic skills 4 plus, uh, attacks are 4. Between 4 and 6 wounds, he moves 12 inches, he's got 5 plus ballistic skill and 3 attacks. Between 1 and 3 wounds, he moves 6 inches, 5 plus ballistic skill still, uh, but only 2 attacks. So, yeah. Shielded missile drone uh, 12 inches, uh, 5 plus weapon skill, ballistic skill 5 plus, strength 4, toughness 4, wounds 1, attacks 1, leadership 6, 4 plus save. And the MV52 shield drone is 8 inches, 5 plus weapon skill, ballistic skill 5 plus, uh, strength 3, toughness 4, wounds 1, attacks 1, leadership 6, and a 4 plus save again. An XV109 Ivara battle suit is a single model equipped with an ionic discharge cannon, a phased plasma flamer, and a fletchet pod. It may be accompanied by up to two MV52 shield drones plus two power rating or shield missile drones plus two power rating. Each shielded missile drone is equipped with missile pod. 
weapons ionic discharge cannon range when attacking with this weapon uh oh, sorry ionic discharge cannon when attacking with this weapon use one of the profiles that follow you may use the nova reactor profile in accordance with the nova reactor ability see below so standard it's 12 inch range uh heavy free straight for 8 ap minus 3 damage 1 abilities when targeting this enemy vehicle the target suffers a multiple wound in addition to all other damage for each wound roll of six plus made for this weapon. The Nova Reactor is 12 inch range. It's a heavy 3d3 type uh, weapon. Strength 10, AP minus 3, damage 3. When targeting this enemy vehicle, the target suffers d3 mortal wounds in addition to all other damage for each wound roll of six plus made for this weapon. Phased Plasma Flamer. When attacking with this weapon, use one of the following profiles that follow. You may only use the Nova Reactor profile in accordance with the Nova Reactor ability. See below, yes. So, standard uh, Plasma Flamer. It's 8 inch uh, range, heavy 2d6. It's strength 6, AP minus 2, and damage is 3. And this weapon hits its target automatically. The Nova Reactor, if you have that. Uh, is 8 inch range, heavy 3d6 uh, type, uh, strength 6, AP minus 2, damage 3, and that weapon hits its target automatically. The Fletchit pod is, uh, is only a 6 inch range, it's a pistol, uh, d6 uh, type, uh, blah, 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 blah. strength 4, AP nothing, uh, damage 1. And the missile pod is a 36 inch assault 2. It's strength is 7, AP minus 1, D3 damage. There you go. War gear options. The Avara may take up to two items from the support system. So let's see what happens before you pass the next. The Enos 2 abilities for the greater good. Drone support. When an XP 109 Avara battlesuit is set up on the battlefield, any accompanying drones are set up in coherence with them. From that point onwards, the drones are treated as a separate unit. Savior protocols. If a drone's unit is within three inches of a friendly tower, empire infantry, or battlesuit unit, you can choose to allocate any wounds to the drones instead of the target uh, unit. MB MV52 shield generator. MV52 shield drones have a three plus invulnerable save. Shield generator shielded missile drones have a four plus invulnerable save. XV109 Ivara Battlesuit. The XV109 Ivara Battlesuit has a 5 plus invulnerable save, increasing to 4 plus against any attacks originating from within 12 inches or in melee. The Nova Reactor Ivara class. In your movement phase, you can choose to use the XV109 Ivara Battlesuit Nova Suits Nova Reactor. If you do so, this model suffers one mortal wound. Choose one of the following effects to last until the beginning of your next turn. Overcharged burst. The Avara can fire using a weapon's Nova Reactor profile. Escape first. At the start of the movement phase, the Avara may be removed from play and set up in the, uh, set up in the sky. Uh, at the beginning of your next movement phase, you can set the Avara anywhere on the battlefield as long as it is more than 9 inches away from an enemy unit. The Nova Barricade. The Avara's invulnerable save is increased to 3 plus against uh, a melee attack. Faction keywords Tower Empire set. Keywords Battlesuit Monster Jetpack Fly XP 109 Avara Battlesuit. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, so. Yeah. All of these units, as well as the full Tyranid and Tau Empire uh, Orc Eldaria Necro ranges of Forge World models, are covered in the upcoming Imperial Armor Index Xenos, available soon and designed to be used with the new edition of Warhammer 40,000. So, yeah, these Forge World models, eh? There you go, that's it. That's what it says. So, uh, thank you for listening. Um, I'll Remember all brushes lead to war. I will see you on the next video. And bye for now, folks.